Systems activated. Going up. Hi, anyone need a lift? Yeah. I'm probably going in your direction. As long as it's up, come on in. Make yourselves at home. Well, don't stick up your posters and leave your clothes lying all over the place, but you know what I mean. I'm a cybernetic analog matrix, but my close friends call me Sam. Say, hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Ah, uh, music to my ears. Okay, I am recording. Your names, please. Katie Armitage. Here's Marsha. Ginny Longhill. Very polite. Ever been in a t -t 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 talking lift before? No. no. Uh, you've probably been in one that says first floor and all that, but how many do you know that know any good gags? Mm, uh, yeah. Here's a good one. Accessing joke data now. Big department store, a horse gets into the lift. The lift says what floor? The horse says bridal wear. <laughs> Well, that was a pleasing response. <laughs> ah, you probably want to get up to the penthouse, but you can't get there before you play some games and win some levels. So what are we waiting for? Well, you to press the button, actually. <laughs> Marvelous. Okay, we're underway on our way to level 10. Yes, I'm a computer lift, which um, means I'm the same as an ordinary lift, except for I talk too much. <laughs> I can't help it. It's the way I was programmed. Do you know anybody who talks too much? Yeah. <laughs> My brother. Your brother? And what does he say? Oh, lots of stuff. <laughs> lots of stuff while he's beating you up and throwing you around, huh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, we're coming in to level 10 now. I wish we could sit around gabbing all day, but we've got work to do, and that work is in the reactor room. Two of you will venture forth, and one of you will stay behind to give instructions to the other two. Have you decided who that's going to be? Yes. yes. Katie. Katie's going to stay here, and we're going to go out. An excellent idea. All right, I'm getting the data for you now. Objective, position nuclear pods in furnace, pass pods hand-to-hand -hand using protective anti-radiation gloves, 30 levels for each pod successfully deposited, end of transmission. Well, there we are. Doors are open. Thunderbirds are go. Take it away. Ginny, Jason, and Katie, this is the reactor room, the powerhouse of the entire building, but we have to get rid of those old nuclear fuel pods. So put your hands through the gloves. The reactor room is inside there. Okay, Katie, start talking to them. Okay. Come on, Jason. Across the bit, Jason. You'll find like a tube where the pods are in. You've uh, got to take it's a got one already. There. Okay. Okay. I right, just push it gently forward. That's it. Yeah. Ah, uh, excellent. Very good transfer in the hopper. Okay, down those stairs. Okay, Ginny. Okay. All right, when you get your hands in, tell me. And then pass it over. Got it. Got it? Yeah. All right, the next challenge is the S-Band. Difficult working position for Ginny there. Lower down. Go on then, Jason. Patch, got it. Right, okay. Right, going up a bit, up a bit, that's it. You got it. Right, you got it. Difficult grip on that one, but he's got it. Right, okay. Oh, you got it. Yeah, got it. Got it, right. You've got to pass it up this time, Jenny. And they've got a good working rhythm now. Straight up. Ready? Okay, Jason. Oh, you got it. Oh! He's holding it against the wall. Oh, he's got it. Come on, Ginny. Okay. Got it. Yep, got it. Oh, a bit of a backhander. Right, this is the last one, Jason. You have to put it down these Oh, tubes. and they're working so well. Okay, right. don't fumble it now. Got it. Right. Is it got it? Got it. He's got it at the glove. Right, put it down the tube, that's it. Yep. Yes. Right, go back, quick, get another one. Okay, you can do another one if you hurry. You have one minute and 30 seconds left. And Jason is already back at the top. Okay, take another pod. Right, Ginny's got I'm a hand there. Right, go on then. Uh. That's it. Right. Jason. Jason's breathing hard now. There's a lot of running. It doesn't look like it. Okay. A minute. No. No, no, no. no. Okay, now. One then. Time is ticking away, but you still have got some in hand, so don't rush it. Grab it, Ginny. That's it. That's it. That's it. You got it? Yeah. Right. That's it. Oh, now those gloves are on the wrong side. They're going to be hard to get on. Okay. Got it. Yikes! Oh, no. Careful, you Ginny. Put your hands right where. That's it. That's it. Oh! Got it? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Come on. Come on. Okay, you're doing really well. You 30 right, seconds right. to go. You've got plenty of time. Don't rush it. Yeah. Rush it. That's it. Last one. Come on. That's it. Don't drop it. That's it. 15 That's it. seconds. You got it. Be careful with this one. Yes, you're gonna make it. Yes. Yes, two pods away. And Jason's rushing to the top of that gantry again. Ah, yes, fantastic work. Come back into the lift. Hello. All right. 
great yeah, performance. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, it's really hard, like the bottom one. You had to lie down and get under. And you had practically have your face smushed into the floor. Yeah, I yeah. know. Very difficult. And how do you think Katie did? Oh, very well, very well. It was very good, good instructions, yeah. I thought. Well, you are off to uh, the start that we call flying in the business, I think, because that was two pods in uh, the furnace, so that's 30 levels a pod, 60 levels. We're headed to level 70. Press the button, please, Katie. Let us hurtle upwards like a poodle in a tornado, growing ever nearer to the penthouse where the prizes are, not to mention a jacuzzi with gold taps. Ooh. You ever been in a jacuzzi before? Yeah. Mm, well, it's kind of like sitting in a huge, fizzy drink. <laughs> if you can imagine that, not that I can see why you'd want to, I'd rather sit in a nice cup of tea myself. Mm. Anyway, how did we get on to this? We're coming into level 70 now. You could be splashing about sooner than you thought, because we've got a flood alert on this level, and you three are just the people to take the matter in hand. But first, you're going to need to step into my handy wardrobe and get changed. It's right behind you. That's the door. There should be a few wetsuits in there. And just getting some information in, Oliver Cromwell has dissolved Parliament. More on that story and other news from the past as soon as we get it. Ah, you look great. Put your hands on your hips. I'll get the data for you. There's a flood alert on level 70. Pipes have ruptured and are flooding service duct 407A. Enter and attempt to bend pipes using the right connectors. 10 levels for each connection made. 20 bonus levels for connecting all pipes. End of transmission. Do you think you can handle it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Doors open. Out you go. This is the flooded service dock. Take your time getting on the ladder because the time starts when you get to the bottom. It's brave of you to volunteer for this because there is a shoal of toe-eating fish at the bottom. Jason's nearly there. Your time starts now. Try and pull all the main pipes out of the center so you can work on them more easily. That's it, Jimmy. Some of those connections are dummies, so don't be fooled. Get one connector and try them on all the pipes. Jason, start work on the connectors. Start trying them on pipes. Get a system going. Get one connector and try it on all the pipes. See if it fits anywhere. I think Katie's got one there. She's got it. All right, look for the other end of that pipe. That'll be one connection. Jenny's got it. Got a connector fitted? Excellent. Katie and Jason working away. Is that the right one? working on the same connector now. It's a difficult one. You need to hold them together and twist it shut. Yes, good work. Remember, there's a 20 level bonus if you connect all those pipes. Judy and Jason making a connection. Katie is desperately searching for another pipe. Try pushing the other way. That's it. Okay, one more pipe to go and you'll get the 20 level bonus. Congratulations! Okay, head back into the lift. Unbelievable! All pipes connected! And guess how much time you had left? No time. You got it absolutely right on the button. That was incredible. Did you have some kind of a system? Yes, girl. We, just, we decided like all of us to pull all the pipes out first and then... I, I clicked a few of them and they wanted my help, so I ran over. What can I say? Great job. Step into the wardrobe and get changed, and then we'll sort it out. Ooh, there'll be steaming hot mugs of cocoa in there and Turkish delight, and I've lit a cozy fire, and I'm playing them my favorite Bing Crosby records. Well, what do you expect? It's just a wardrobe. I hope you put the hangers back. 
I suppose you want to know what score you got. Yes. All right. Well, that's 10 levels for each pipe, 40 levels, 20 bonus levels. That's 60 levels in all, so that takes us up to level 130. Ooh. Press the button, please, Katie. Well done. I now pronounce you all master plumbers. Does anybody want to be a plumber when you're older? No. Mm -hmm. ah, well, it's nice to know we've got some whiz kids on board, just in case anything goes wrong. Not that that's likely, of course, because this lift mechanism is fine-tuned by the finest fine-tuners in the world. Whoa. Ah. Aha. Aha. Well, that's nothing to worry about. Hang on, I'll access the manual data. Try jumping up and down on the floor a couple of times. Would you mind? Uh, yes, I'm going to your leg. That's good. Jump, jump, jump. Keep jumping. Ah, yes, I think we're moving again. That's good. Good. Excellent. Coming into level 130 now. Are you all warmed up? Yeah. Good, because this next challenge is a little on the chilly side. You are about to enter the Crystal Cave, getting data for you now. The cave is split into two rooms. Cross the causeway and build three paths across the abyss. Using stepping stones, get the stones from the hatch in the crystal wall. You have three minutes to build paths and escape. End of transmission. Well, that's your mission, should you decide to accept it. OK. Open doors. It's out there somewhere. This is the crystal cave. Don't get trapped in there, because you're going to be sent to the basement if you do. The stepping stones will come out of those holes in the wall. There's the first one now. You've got to stockpile them, you've got to pass them through, and you've got to build Jay, your way to freedom. Jay, I'm going to one, Janice, do a light like, bed. Uh, yeah. Might be the way back. Nice to go. Next, next. OK, OK, wait, wait, wait. All right, they can keep them coming through while you try and fit the walls in. There's the first one. Okay, Katie and Jason, look alive. You're fighting the clock here, remember? We've already got a blue, so we don't need another blue. Yes, Jenny, that blue block, that blue block there. Got the first screen. Got the first screen. And you've got the entire green path. Absolutely top wall. And oh, strategy, oh. Jason's coming to help. Building the orange path. Blue, that's the end one. The blue, we need a blue on shape. Number two, blue on two there. Just try anyhow. Remember, once you've got all three paths it, made, it. you need the icon to get oh, to the other side. What? The icon is oh, by the door. Katie, eh? Yeah. Where is she? She's in the basement. Exactly. Okay, we've got to get down there. So, Jason, press the button. Switching to express mode now. I don't want to worry you, Jason and Ginny, but Katie at this very moment is languishing in a laundry container, friendless and alone. Okay, we're coming into the basement now. You lose 10 levels for coming down here, but if you spend more than 30 seconds searching for Katie, you lose another 10 levels, so don't let that happen. Doors open. Go find her. She's out there somewhere. Look through the little portholes in the sides, and when you see her, turn the handle to release her. Time is ticking away, and time down here means levels. She's in there somewhere. You've got to find her, and find her quick. Got her out. Excellent. All right, you, you've got plenty of time. Head for the door. Very good. Quick, in here. Ah, you got her. Good. And in record time, too. Are you okay, Katie? Yes. Were you lonely in there? Yes. I bet you were. But your friends came and got you out. Okay, here is the map. You got 40 levels in the Crystal Cave. That would have taken you up to level 170. You lost 10 levels coming down here. Big deal. So, we're at level 160. Not bad going. And there's one game left to go. Katie, hit the button. You know, Katie, my sensors detect a lot of faint animal odors on you. Do you have a lot of pets or something? Oh, good. 
I tell you what, you tell me their names and we'll try and guess what kind of pets they are, okay? Um, Billy Gizmo City. Billy Gizmo City. Um, alligators? No. Kangaroos? No. Peacocks? No. What do you think, Jason? Cats. Cats? You said that like you knew that. Did you know that? No. <laughs> All right, give, give us another one. Um, Bubble. Bubble. Uh, tiger? No. Hamster. Oh, hamster. hamster. Close? Is hamster close? Yes. Gerbil? Yes. Ah, got it. I'm not a super intelligent lift for nothing. <laughs> okay, coming into level 160 now. All that talk about pets has absolutely nothing to do with this next game, but the wardrobe does. So get into it, get changed, and we will play. You know, those sparks were a bit worrying. I wonder if it was something I ate. No, it can't be. I don't eat anything. I must get the maintenance engineers onto it. Ah, you're looking good. Now, I bet you're feeling a little bit peckish right about now. Mm, yeah. Yeah, a bit. Well, okay. Open doors. Dip out there and see if you can't find a kitchen somewhere. Good, you found the kitchen. Now, see if you can find anything to eat. Popcorn? Cheesy what's it? There must be something. What is it? Soup. Mm. Now to put my fiendish master plan into action. Far from swallowing the soup, the soup is going to swallow you. Ah, I bet you all feel pretty small now. Now there are letters at the bottom of the soup. You get them, spell words, and earn levels. Dive on in, your time starts now. Okay, hey, you can tell them what letters you want. They can only bring up one letter at a time. Vowels are useful. We've got to see on the board. Now, Jimmy, tell them what you want. You, you, I, you. Five letter words score 20 levels. Ten letter, four letter words score 10 levels. S. Ah, there's a four letter word, clue. S. S. Seems to be a five letter word. Oh, you can't get the kids, go get that E. And there's other letters coming up. You've got a T and A and B. so far. B-A-C. There must be a five-letter word there somewhere. I think Ginny's got a grip on it. Bats. That is a four-letter word, five-letter word. Try for a five-letter or another four-letter word. Ooh. Oops. Yes, that is a five-letter word. Congratulations. Okay, keep going. Get another four-letter word. Ah, uh, there's some good vowels. Fifteen seconds to go. What? Ryan, get a four-letter word. The vowels are coming thick and fast. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds. Time is up. Return to the kitchen, please. Ouch, talk about growing pains. Get back into the lift now. Tremendous, very handy spelling and swimming skills there. And what words do you think you got? Clues and boats. Clues and boats? What about block? Yes. Ah, yes, you're right. That is actually a word. So, uh, big score there, lots of levels. We'll talk about it in a minute when you've gotten changed. Yes, block, when it's spelt like that, means a combination of parties or governments sharing the same purpose. Not a lot of people know that. Come out, come out, don't be shy. You are in terrific shape. So, for all that spelling and swimming, you've got 50 levels. You're at a level 160, so that takes you to level 200, the penthouse, and beyond. Say yippee! Yippee!
Ah, that sounded enthusiastic. What should we do with those extra 10 levels? I don't know. Maybe we could plant them outside and see if we can grow a tower block. Katie, hit that button, because we're headed to the penthouse. Wow. Now, as a special treat, I thought you might enjoy seeing the view from the 175th floor as we travel towards the penthouse. The penthouse is owned by a reclusive millionaire who made a fortune in llama farming. He's not there, but he's hidden some security boxes for you to find. There's four of them. The gift keys are inside. You need them to win the prizes. How do you get them open? I'm glad you asked me that. With the data lock tools. Ginny, if you would be so kind, they're just by the door. Now, some boxes need two to open, some need three. You've each got one, so this is going to involve some teamwork. Pass them out. We're heading into the penthouse now. Are you feeling confident? Yes. I hope you find them all. Doors open. And good luck. This is it. This is not a drill. Your time in the penthouse starts now. Check everything out for those boxes. Leave no stone unturned. They could be anywhere, under anything, on top of anywhere. Go quick. You've got the full time, but you haven't got all day. You got one. Is it, is it a dummy? It's a key. What key do you need? Like a one key box, but which key is it? Yes, you got it. Okay, get the gift key, plug it into the prize board, and keep on looking. One key is in the board, and you have won a selection of latest swimming gear, but keep on looking. A second key comes out. You are doing fantastically well, and you have also won a bundle of board games for that key, but keep on looking. Excellent strategy. Keep all the keys in one place and bring the boxes to them. Got two keys to go. Jason's got a box. Check, check to see if it's a dummy. Is it real or is it a dummy? Box is coming out all over the place now. You've got a third prize key. Plug it into the board. Terrific. And you have one for that key, a handheld computer game. Have you got the fourth box? Terrific! It's gonna need all three keys, but you've got plenty of time! You're shelling boxes like peas out there! You've got 30 seconds! Plug that last key into the board! Yes, you're gonna do it! Yes! to your stars, and you've won the main prize, the prize that money just can't buy! Yes! You will go to London for a star-spangled day. First stop, the International Star Registry, who will officially name a star after you. And then spot the stars of Planet Hollywood, see more stars at Starlight Express. And so you can carry on stargazing, you want a telescope as well. And of course, you've got the swimming gear, the board games, the handheld computer. You've got everything. How does it feel? Brilliant. Ah, good, good, good. Well, that's it. But don't go home. Soak off the strain in our jacuzzi with gold taps. And I'll see you next time for some more incredible games. Don't go anywhere this morning because we're going to be announcing the winner of our Cool Yule Christmas card competition and Blue Peter is coming up.